Today we're talking about three ways we're using AI to help us with our pre and post production for video content, other than just generating images over and over. No messing around, let's jump right in. Scripts. I get them, you get them, sometimes we make them and sometimes we're handed to us. They almost always start as a one page document. But if you're like me and you like working with a script that has a two or three column layout so you can have your paragraph and your visuals next to each other, that's where the chat GPT table command comes in super handy. All you have to do is paste your full page script into ChatGPT and ask it kindly to put into a table format with your script on the left and visuals on the right. Hit generate and ChatGPT will take your script and arrange it in a two column format. Even though this is a simple idea, if you've ever had to copy and paste tons of paragraphs into two column format into a Google Doc, you know who you are, don't lie. This can save a ton of time on the back end when working with scripts and getting ready for production. And if you're stuck on ideas for that second column of your script, you can ask ChatGPT again to give you ideas for visuals that go along with the script. Just make sure you train ChatGPT to come from the perspective of an expert in explainer graphics so that your visuals are kind of in the field of what you want it to be, whether it's an explainer video or coming from a cinematographer's perspective. Rotoscoping. Ah! Rotoscoping! If you do any visual effects, at some point in time, you're gonna have to do some rotoscoping. And of course, it's always better to learn the traditional way to do it because AI isn't gonna solve everything, but Runway ML can definitely come in handy to help you out on some difficult shots. For example, we had this shot where we had to replace the background away from the two characters who were walking in the woods. We used Runway ML to get us a good jump start on getting a nice mat with some of the trees and the characters to be able to separate them from the background so we could get that set replacement behind them and track the camera while they're walking through the woods. Super helpful, got us there faster than we would have expected. AI upscaling of footage has gotten just out of control and some of the things that are coming out has just, they're just voodoo magic and they work. Some of you might know that YouTube has better compression settings for videos that are two and a half K and higher. Although I hear rumors that they're trying to use the compression across the board. I've checked out videos that are 1920 by 1080 and they still haven't gotten that better compression yet. So this is where AI upscaling can make your videos for YouTube look better with Topaz Labs. In terms of footage, it does a great job with reducing noise and blocking that you might get from any artifacts. Exporting that to ProRes and you surprisingly get good latitude when it comes to grading than if you worked with some other H.264 file from a DSLR, for example. In fact, the video that you're watching right now is all worked on, exported 1920 by 1080, upscaled to 4K, and compressed for YouTube all within Topaz Labs. Did you notice the difference? So those are just three tools out of many that we're using for AI in our production, whether we're dealing with footage, visual effects, or motion graphics and animation. I hope that was helpful and maybe it can help with your productions as well. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, <laughs> my